Hi, it's Debbie Hilly, and I'm wearing my Because People Suck shirt. Dogs, Because People Suck. But at any rate, um, I know people are going to ask what it says, so that's what it says. Dogs, Because People Suck. Anyway, um, we have been talking a little bit about collapsing palettes and soft palettes, and I wanted to cover that just a little bit here with a couple of things that might actually help save a dog's life. If you have, like I do, an extended soft palate, in humans it causes difficulty swallowing, which you just saw. I'm, I have to force myself to swallow sometimes. Difficult chewing, because again, you can't swallow really easily. Um, sometimes my words slur a little bit because the back of my palate hits my tongue and then they stick together and it becomes a problem. Um, there's other problems in humans related to loud snoring, waking up sometimes because your airway is blocked. I firmly believe that many cases of SIDS are related to extended soft palates. I have no proof on that, but that's my guess on it because the extended soft palate literally blocks your airway. And I have a way to show you. It's very common in bulldogs of all shapes and sizes, including Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, Pugs, anything with that really short brachiophallic face. Shizus are prone to it, but nowhere near as much as the bully breeds. Some people say Yorkies do it. Then again, some people put Yorkies in a brachiophallic category, and I don't really see that, but whatever works. Basically, <clears throat> see, there we go again. <laughs> um, any breed who's got a really small mouth in proportion to the rest of the head can have this problem. And inside, if you were to see the inside of my mouth, I have a malformation of the upper part of my mouth. And I also have a very narrow mouth. I have a very small mouth, which I know is hard for people to believe who know me because I have a really small mouth, but it's inside. It doesn't affect what comes out of it. It's just the inside structure of my mouth is really, really small. Anytime I've ever had to have impressions done, they have to use children's trays, even though I'm 54 years old now. So yeah, that explains a lot about how bad my mouth is. That soft palate is giving me fits right now because I'm really dried out and I have a soda behind me. In case it gets really bad, I can pick that up. But what happens when I get excited or when a dog gets excited is it closes up. You see what just happened there? That's a nice open airway, and that would be hacking, gagging, coughing, then that's not breathing. Plain and simple, that just means that that dog's airway is completely closed down. The soft palate of the inside of the mouth falls backwards and blocks the airway both into, or rather, excuse me, from your throat as well as from your nose. It's all connected, as you all know. Anything you breathe in here gets into the back of your throat, and it just, it's a, if your throat and your nose both close up, you can't breathe. In fact, if your throat closes up, whether your nose is or not, you can't breathe because it's all one circular, circular airway. So, again, nice open airway, and then this becomes coughing and gagging, and then this becomes, oh my God, I can't breathe. If a dog ever does this and it's in your care, you're going to notice symptoms. First of all, it's going to start gasping like it's trying to breathe, but it can't. Many times their tongues turn purple, their eyes roll into the back of their heads, and they fall over and pass out. If you don't know what to do to stop that, the dog can die. Now, it's actually really, really simple. Super simple. And I can't remember who I learned it from, but I think it was a French breeder, a Frenchie breeder, a French bulldog breeder who showed me how to do this. When that is closed, it's really simple to open it up. You stick your hand inside and you press. You press up, press down because that's the way this thing works. But anyway, you would press up with your fingers. In and up. Then I would spread my fingers out and push the tongue down. Let's show you from this angle. You, you can lay the dog on its side if you like, but it's not necessary to do that. 
Right now, airway's closed. You stick your fingers into the airway. Push up to move the soft palate forward, out to the sides, and then push the tongue down. It's that simple. You may get bitten, but the dog will start breathing again. Remember, closed airway, fingers, See where they're all the way into the back? In fact, if you can touch the back of the dog's throat, touch the back of the dog's throat. Push up on the soft palate, out with your fingers, and then down on the tongue. Super easy. Hopefully that makes sense. You can save a dog's life doing that. I've had to do it before, and I actually did it totally by accident. I thought the dog was choking on a piece of bone because they had been chewing on a piece of rawhide. It was a boarding dog. They had been out playing on the floor and they had brought raw hides with them. I thought that's what had happened, but it wasn't. The soft palate had fallen in. It was a um, French bulldog mixed with something. I couldn't tell you what it was. But remember, closed airway, fingers in, just like you would if the dog was choking. You want to go in and get that obstruction, except that in this case, the obstruction is the soft palate. So you push up on the soft palate, out with your fingers to spread them, and then down on the tongue. Dog should start breathing at that point. If the dog's not breathing at that point, at least you have an open airway and you know that you can then do CPR or mouth to mouth and get it back up. Remember, close palate, in, as far as you can get it. You'll feel uvula, you'll feel tonsils, doesn't matter. Get your fingers in there, up, out, down and then what do you do you get the dog in the car and you go straight to the owner's vet if you don't have that information on file somebody is on the phone i'm sure while all of this is going on you're on the phone to the owner that's pretty much a given right but what you're going to do you're going to get the dog straight into the car and to the vet's office because you don't want to be the one responsible in case something else happens you want that dog out of your hair and alive when it gets to the vet clinic. It might be perfectly fine when you get to the vet clinic and the vet might say, why are you here? But you're there because you just had a breathing situation that could have cost the dog its life. In, up, to remove the soft palate from the back of the throat, to the sides, because that's going to give you more space to work, down on the tongue. That could save a dog's life. Teach your staff, teach your friends, teach people who own these bully breeds. We've all heard horror stories of pugs freaking out at getting their nails done and dying. Part of it's because of that. When the soft palate blocks the airway, they can't breathe. What happens then? They stress more. So you then have a already stressed dog who now can't breathe stressing even more, and groomers who didn't know what to do. I would almost bet $100 that every time a dog has died under stress like that, it's been because the soft flap of the upper palate fell back into its throat and blocked its airway. A lot of vets don't know to look for that. A lot of breeders are breeding dogs with it. And sometimes it's just one of those weird flukes that happens. But... You can save a life by simply putting your fingers down their throat and opening their airway. And remember, you can do it with human too. If a human is choking and yet there is no obstruction, that's another way to do it. Heimlich and dogs, I don't even want to get into because I think that's something that needs to be taught in a first aid class. But this is something that I've had to use in my own shop. And I think it could save the lives of a bulldog who's stressed out and the palate collapses, who is a Frenchie or a Boston or a pug who is having difficulty breathing in a salon environment. When I get stressed, I start to have a hard time swallowing, which is one reason why every time the camera comes on, I start to have a hard time swallowing because I'm under stress and everything swells a little bit. It's the same thing in a dog. So if you've ever watched me or seen me in person and I'm really having a hard time swallowing, now you know why. I have something in common with a bulldog. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you learned something and hope it'll help you one day, but I also hope you'll never have to know how to do this. Now, 
can we turn off the camera from here? Bye, y'all.